So this is Cosmic Leisure, distributing these um, quite nice looking machines actually. Oh wow, okay. Here we go, we can see them in operation. And as sort of Asia gantries go, I think they, they seem quite high quality to be fair. Are these similar to the catching duck cranes then, Alfie? Because I think they are. And yeah, they've set them all on free play on the actual system. Whereas a lot of operators have put like um, free play switches out the coin mech, which is interesting. It says anime, so yeah, it's quite anime themed. And you can see you've got a lot of different variants here, a lot of different color variants anyway. Prize time, and then there's obviously, I don't know what the difference is with these. Similar, similar gantry, similar system, I think. I've got a win, Alfie. <laughs> Oh, there you go, you got a little bit of a feature of the wind sound there as well. Very nice. Lucky Hurricane, I can feel the wind coming out of that. And I do like that when distributors actually pay attention to sort of details and put their, their logos on things. I think it's very advantageous to the sort of, not only the aesthetic appeal of the machine, but making it look a bit more professional and a little bit less like just a foreign import. Because I think it's good to differentiate between uh, just a foreign import and um, a proper established leisure company distributing uh, what they foresee as being high quality machines. Unfortunately, I've blocked the sensor. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Got a wide variety of uh, redemption based stuff here as well. Cosmic Leisure, Mech Shooter, Crazy Hammer, Ocean Party. Um, pretty standard stuff but pretty well presented and um, obviously again with the logos and stuff um, as I was saying I do I do like it when distributors put their logos on stuff I think it's good it looks like Sega are distributing these windfall revolution uh, machines I've seen actually a couple of HB leisure locations uh, operating these so they must be all right I think they're a unique game concept but I think they can be set quite hard as well so I've seen a lot of them where they are uh, quite difficult to win from, but I suppose that means you can have a, a variety of different prize quality options. Obviously you've got sweets in that one and push in that one, so they're demonstrating that here as well. Hot Wheels as well. So they've got the uh, Sokoa cashless system here as well on these Capto cranes. We've seen Capto cranes in a few places. I think this one's actually out of order to be fair. Oh no, maybe it just... Uh, I think they have it on the setting where it actually goes to that corner, unless that's just to stop the prices from dropping the shoe. Oh wow. <laughs> Jacked one out. Oh, and they've got like an example of different claw heads you can put on it as well. But yeah, these, these are the more colourful ones. I've, I've not seen these yet. And they've got... Oh, Capto Candy. Well, it's a completely different crane. I didn't know that. Midi. Yeah, they've got the different sizes. That's more like the Mini, and then that's the... There you go, Alfie's going to demonstrate the Candy Crane. It's pretty much the same as Capto Crane. Oh, it says they're new, so maybe they're new, maybe they're new this year. I mean, I've definitely never seen one, so... But I really like these. I like that cabinet design. I think they've got different LEDs on the font there and different LEDs on the side. We're on the standard ones, they're just one colour, aren't they? Blue. And yeah, it's got a big claw red on this one, seems quite strong. And yeah, pretty much skill. <laughs> but yeah, this one hasn't got a sensor because they've they've kind of blocked it off in both. So, so it probably should be potentially going to be probably should be payout based, but obviously it's yeah. because it's blocked off, it's uh it's not. They've also got Sega Sega Prize International as well. Is that a new? Is that a new plush? Is it? Yeah, it's from the Netflix series of Sonic. Prime. See, I don't know anything about Sonic, so I wouldn't have known uh, that. These, it's about the um, new series on Netflix. Well, not new, but a new series has come out uh, from Sonic Prime. So that's why he looks different. See, there's your standard ones. Yeah. Um, We've seen these in machines for a while. Here, now, very like, popular. Yeah. 
So this would be what you know nine is called in this series because it's alternate realities. So that uh, got Rouge and one of the members of the uh, Chaos Council as well. And then down here you have the squashy um, Sonics on this middle row. I've never seen. I've, so I've I want to see more of them. Have you ever Sonic, seen them in the? Tails, Shadow and Knuckles. Have I you ever seen them out in the field? I've never seen any. I have no. I think they go really well with the Disney down ones. Down here you have the uh, multicolored Sonics. Got a few of them. And then a few generics. Actually, Squishmallows. That's the actual stuff up there, which is quite nice. That's on brand. I thought these would be generic, but they're actually the on brand Squishmallows. Okay. Tetris. Oh, that's awesome. I want to see those Tetris things. Very nice. Then at Sega, you've got obviously all the Redemption stuff, which I don't really know a lot about Redemption. So, uh, but yeah, there's a, a bit of an overview. And there's nice tons of tickets there as well. I've seen a few of those. Again, at HB Leisure, I've been buying a lot of them. Um, but yeah, they're nice. Here we've got Tubbs brands. I actually didn't see these on the uh, event map. But they seem to do... I've seen these at a lot of pubs, actually. These uh, style of capsule... Not capsule. Um, tub machine. Um, but yeah, they're... Obviously, a vending focus type company. They do... Gacha machines, tattoo machines. I've got a couple of claws over there as well, actually, and even one which is branded to Tubbs, Tubbs Toys. I've seen those cactus things about a few times um, in machines. They're like those weird dancing electronic cactus, uh, not plush, but it's like a children's toy. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. Look, you've got nuts. Any cashews in there? We like cashews. Oh, there is. Arcade Hawk would be all over that. And they have Pringles as well, of course. These are interesting. These are Nayax on. Pokemon card vendor. Well, I like that yellow display. That's quite nice. And yes, Squishland. Quite nice uh, vending cranes, aren't they? Quite low down for, low down for, for children. For children. Yeah. The LEDs on the side. Yeah. As soon as I saw this on the event map, I was very excited to see um, that VDW would be in attendance because they make they make without the doubt the best looking pushes ever. And the bonus games are always really innovative. I mean, that one over there, look at that, has an EAG uh, logo on the LED display. And yeah, they make these mini changes. I didn't know they made these, so they seem to make mini little changes. You've got a little model of a, is that a black? Yeah, there's a little model of a blackjack pusher there. That's incredible. And yeah, so there's a three player Zanzibar. See, this is the older style of pusher that they seem to have done. They've actually even got a few pots of uh, coins here to try and demonstrate sort of the way they work. Nice, it's full of it. For your bonus. That's the same voice as Magic Yeah, same voice as Magic Seat. tokens uh, branded to VDW as well. Awesome. That must be a demonstration of the systems behind the to have a display there. I don't know if that is that one of the changes. Yeah that's one of the changes. It's got like a a console behind it, sort of a very complicated technical mechanism going on there. That's interesting. Well, look at that, that's one of the best pushes ever. See, I don't know how the bonus game works on this one, but... Oh, so, is that your bar? Is that your bonus yeah. bar? Oh, wait, there's like a, a wheel in the back there you can display prizes and stuff on. What's this coming around now? Is that a screen? Come to play the fun city. Sounds are incredible. I'm stood a little bit low, as you can see, it's on this platform here. If I stand at the right height, yeah. sounds are very immersive. Appuyez sur le bouton stop pour arrêter les boulots. 
This is how they seem to do it in France and uh, other countries. They have these like prize tokens when they have them on the uh, on the trailers. And they also use the uh, actual tokens a lot of the time as well. You got the bonus. Do you see why I like BDW pushes out yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It normally is the time for a pop. Here we go, here we go. Oh, uh, okay, so it's random. That, that is really cool. In um, Morecambe, these hoppers were empty. Right. Why would you operate a busher with the hoppers empty? That's this is cool. how it should be, it should be full to the top. Well, that's the Zanzibar one, that's pretty decent. So I'll try the uh, new version. That change machine's one. really nice as well, isn't it? Well, yeah. I have, so the, the slots are in a different position on the newer one. But they, yeah, the concept's the same. It drops the coins though, that's really cool. Same concept with the bar then. Yeah. See, the old one had, um, it was like the Wizard of Oz with the wheel and you build it up with the LEDs. I prefer the bar because it's obviously more colourful, it's a better screen. It doesn't yeah. show up very well on yeah. camera, it looks way it better. Doesn't, it doesn't life. on mine either, so... Although, funnily enough, the top sign looks a lot better on camera. Um, not as, long as, you hold, as long as you hold it still, yeah. But, so that's that. I'll get a better shot of that in a minute. It's been customised to say EAG on it as well, so... But obviously the voices can be in English as well. their bonus game. Mine should be coming now, hopefully. Imagine there's a few due actually, so don't know if it's me or this one next to it that's going to be first. Oh, it is me. So it is like a slot machine. I don't know how well it comes up on camera. If I press stop there. Well, the jackpot apparently. No way. Yeah, it's the best pusher ever made, Alfie. <laughs> That's incredible. We're gonna get an auto floor demonstration here, I think. So that's it, sensing the weight of the prize. 
knowing the best strength to be able to let it go. Look at that. Worry, it's got a, slowly dropping it, slowly releasing it. It's yeah. got a progress yeah, thing on the thing as well to tell you. It's more precise than on an Epo, that's why it's a bit slower than yeah. that's very good. I mean Epos are very good with how they do it, but you know, if they've advanced that. Because I, I think a, a problem with the big one cranes was overpay. I think they did give out too many prizes if they were set incorrectly. See look that's going now any moment. Yeah, slowly yeah. Bosh, and then it instantly knows the analytics of it. Yeah, try that. Technically, though, it hasn't adjusted for that, though, has it? So we'll see. It might. Uh, it might. It might overpay. <laughs> it's so smooth. It's so good. got stop and drop, I don't know if that's, I'm assuming that's disableable isn't it, the stop and drop say. And yeah, it's all contained in there, so it's very modular, very uh, modern. Well, I'm assuming it's, it's whatever payout rate set on there is what's going to... So good. So we have a little NFC tag here, which you can scan and get the uh, details of Big E up on your phone on the UDC website. Um, for those who don't know, UDC is the official ELAL distributor for the UK. As of last year, was it that they changed over? Or was it 2021 or two? Because it was formerly Harry Levy, wasn't it? Harry Levy slash Crown. Yeah. Slash Crown Leisure, but now it's UDC. Uh, and these guys are awesome, so they sell probably the highest quality games in general. Oh look, it's got a little Eli logo on there, that's nice. Did you break it, Alfie? Or did you fix it now? I accidentally, it's updated, I think, there we go. Hopefully it'll just be now. Ah, see it's three homes, so. So that's it testing the gantry it's all the way back. Gantry. I'm guessing it'll go all the way to the right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is just when you first turn the power on. What did you do? Did you just turn the power off to the PCB, did you? Well, it looks like it's reset itself now, so that's good. So yeah, unfortunately we can't really show the menus. It's confidential, technically, but it's the new EAC system. So so it's locked out until... It's locked out until, like, the code, yeah. See, that's good. So if someone pries the door open, they can't fiddle the machine. There we go. That's the I've never actually seen the e claw harmonies in person. But yeah, these are the harmonies. So this is kind of the e claw equivalent to a topper crane. They're quite low down, actually, the control panels. Um, potentially more appropriate for, for children and stuff like that. And then the, the, the prize bed sits lower. So it's a it's a pretty nice design. They've been they've been selling these alongside the normal e claws since when e claws came out. Um, and for some reason people don't buy them. I really like these. These are, I believe, cheaper than the standard E-Claws as well because they don't have the draw system. The traction system is, is just behind this door here and it doesn't have the extra storage that the uh, other E-Claws have. So it's, it's a bit of a less advanced design, but it serves a different purpose. It's more compact. 
and, and you can see this one alongside the standard one back there it has a top box for prize displays here's just an E4 Cosmic as well pretty standard these are nice these are dream funds I did not know these are dream funds or the new dream fund stuff anyway I know they did the old toy boxes which I thought they would still be selling to be fair because I think they still make them but these have the new dream fund system with the better display and a black claw as well actually so these are nice oh yeah this is dream funds as well so yeah dream funds seem to come out with new stuff more or less every year UDC are always at the forefront of distributing that so uh, it's, it's good to see Alfie's about to get teased <laughs> Uh, here's the standard toy stack, or the newer toy stack anyway. See, so this is a bit more like the traditional Dream Funds machines. It's actually got some credits on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And this one, clip or grab? Okay. Oh, interesting. So. So it's like the, um, oh, what was it called? It had, a, it had an interesting name. It's like the game that we saw before over at Sega, Sega. It's like the ones that Sega do, smaller. And then underneath, there's actually a mini crane as well. These aren't Dream Funds, unfortunately. They're a, a different manufacturer I'm not too sure about, but that's cool, that's neat. Look a duck, standard coast to coast fail only. Here's actually a different manufacturer's version of the game concept that we've been seeing a lot more of. Here's a finer key style game with uh, a big prize cabinet actually, so kind of like similar prices to what you would have on the um, cut rope games, skill cut winner and uh, fantastic prize etc. Um, that's the style of prize but with a claw machine find a key style game next to it. And uh, yeah, quite nice. He's a coast to coast. Very nice. Don't know why the buttons are lit up on that. I think they may be on free play, maybe. Oh, it looks like they are. Yeah, he's just doing it now. I think he's got them all on free play. Yeah, more harmony. Let's uh, give this one a try. Yeah, so I, I, I've never seen these out there. So right? these be for the um, fair trailers? Though? No, no, these are different. The fair trailers are shorter, and the speaker is the price shoe right. on the fair trailers. These are toppers, effectively. Yes, yeah, it's, it's very low down, however, that's the thing. Yeah, the claw is like at a different height as well. Yeah. The entire machine is a little bit shorter. It's really cool. I like these. Yeah, yeah, these came out with the original e claws They've been selling them ever since. For some reason, none of them have sold in the UK. It's really, uh, it's quite disappointing because I, I like these. Oh yeah, this is what they do on free play. They just say zero credits. This though. Now this is very interesting. This is the brand new Eel Out Smurfs pusher. This is their new IP. Um, I think this came out literally like a few weeks ago. It's brand new. Uh, there's no tickets in it, unfortunately, but... Um, oh, look, I can actually add uh, tokens. Oh, that's so cool. So, let's just spin a fortune wheel, okay. Nice being able to play one with no uh, financial drawback because these are really fun pushers to play but really expensive. Wow, loads of cards being vended. See, I feel like the card density on this one is a lot more. I really like the music as well. 
really nice sound effects on it actually. I say the graphics package, I'm not too sure about on a personal basis, but I like the IP, I like the Smurfs, so I mean why not, you know? There's the, the wheel spinning there. 15 tickets, so that's kind of the bonus system. I love the soundtrack. I think this is my favorite Elau pusher, actually. Graphics aside. Soundtrack. I love everything about it to be honest. Oh, you can actually pause the bus driver as well. That's amazing. Pause pusher? Yeah. Wow. Pause. How did I not notice that? You've, you've noticed that before me. It's got a skill stop. What? That's so cool. Yeah, but you can re pause it again at any time. There's no limit to it. You can skill stop, then rapid fire, then play again. I really need the arcades to get these. I really need the arcades to get these. Desperately. I could have a lot of fun with this. I've got three cards at once there. Smurf-tastic. Yeah, I think in a darker environment this would pop a bit more. I feel like the screens aren't the brightest. Um, there is also a Smurf claw machine here, right? But my, literally my only criticism of this machine is the stickers I don't think look very high quality inside the machine itself. I feel like those might peel. But other than that, I love the smoke pushing. Let's get a good shot of it. I mean, Elo are incredible with their graphics and stuff like that. They've they never really disappoint. So coast to coast really like this concept of having a video game combined with a claw machine. Oh, there you go. Look, the lights have come off, and then it looks like that means the bonus game is enabled. Did you did you find where the Oh, okay, okay, so it's giving you a demo from there. So look, you need to wait for that bonus. I have no idea, that is crazy. I'm gonna guess this one. No way! I, I, I lost it, I lost it instantly. So what, does it give you tickets then? Yeah, yes, it does. It does. That's a nice that's a nice bonus. I mean, instead of just consolation tickets like on the ticket e yeah. you've got an actual bonus you game to, in you the back. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that gantry's YAS. I'm not a huge fan of YAS stuff. I think that's a plastic gantry as well, which is a bit of a shame, but this is something nice that UDC do is they put the raw parts out on display as well. Um, for a lot of their machines. So you can see they've got e gear, there's an Intelli controller there, a programmer even. Traction program, an attraction Traction, board, an EMOS. Emos board, EMOS. So that's, that's for the that's RFID the pushes. pushes, so specifically um, uh, Ticket Circus, anything with the RFID things in it that just gives out yeah. tickets and no cards or tokens, that's what this is for. Oh, there's an attraction programmer down there as well. I guess that's going to be nothing like and then from looking at the big E before, that looks like the uh, EAC seems to have like a combination of PCBs rather than one central controller, which I think is 
well from what they say it seems to be a better design maybe it's more modular probably cheaper replacements if something goes wrong and then you've got some of the uh, stock balls etc there custom tickets I uh, look so they do the half tickets they do custom tickets and then they do full size and there's some examples from their customers it looks like as well full head central conveniently in a fun zone uh, cabinet as well <laughs> I think that must be maybe a EAC power supply or something I don't know but yeah that's nice oh, is that, that's a YES PCB that actually heal out tokens interesting so I missed this before I showed this this is the new version of toy box and then there's the new version of toy stack there it seems to be using the same parts and there's the old version of toy stack or well the old slash new version with uh, the updated system yeah interesting so we're finished at UDC over there we spent a long time there actually to be honest and uh, I think his name's Lawrence uh, he's a really nice guy he was like talking to us about the machine stuff so massive shout out to him uh, and UDC and Elout fantastic uh, company but yeah here we are at Harry Levy now uh, which is the UK's only remaining manufacturer of coin pushers I think unless Eurotech make theirs in the UK I'm not sure um, but yeah I've seen these these are new ah RFID tag token that is brand new I think because they used to have the key quest which I think was more like the finder key you get a key in the egg and you would open up the uh, prize containers but I think this one actually you win a coin in the egg and you put your RFID token in there so that's what's changed on these I don't know if they've got the key quests maybe a, maybe the other size key quest I don't know no nope, prize quest again but yeah that's um, that's something that's changed that I can point out I don't know if this is a new one wheel of fun Pick and mix, I've seen these out in the field a few times. This is more like the traditional bonus game uh, system on the older levy bushes, where you have uh, a bar that you fill up as the coins go in, and then the uh, prize rod bends at random intervals. Now this one does the same music as the old um, Sweet Falls bushes as well, actually, interesting. Angry Birds Pusher, this is one of their IPs. These are the magic claws, so they don't distribute uh, Elite machines anymore, but I <laughs> won't go into the details about that, but... Oh, Alfie just won from that, actually. And yeah, so these are the magic claws. These are their sort of answer to the E-Claws new design from uh, Paukai Electronics that they're distributing. I've featured on a few of my videos now, because they are getting out there. The Crown also operates their own arcades so you will see these mainly in their own arcades I've not seen too many people who've bought these from Harry Levy as a distributor and are operating them individually but um, they are known to exist and they are selling them so these are new but yeah I don't mind them I think they're quite nice actually to be fair uh, the only criticism that I've ever had of these is the gantry uh, other than that the systems that Powerkai produce the PCBs really don't have any issues quite reliable I've seen one with a broken display uh, and that's it it's the only fault that I've seen so far and that could be anything that could be it being unplugged loose connection um, but yeah it's just the gantry that's the problem you see that drag chain up there I've said it loads of times I just don't like those um, yeah he claws are better unfortunately but it's nice to see that they've kind of taken from second best and dealing with what they've got kind of thing Moving on from that, you have Shining Cube. Obviously, this is now like pretty much the most popular crane, or certainly the most popular low boy crane for sale at the moment. These are all over the place now. They must be affordable and they must take money. Um, Alfie's cleaning out these magic claws. Let's see, will he uh, get a win here? They're all set scale, so if you can grab that back. Yeah, one thing I will say as a, as a good positive about these is the claws. They're, they seem quite strong. These are Powerkai's stronger versions of their claws that they've been using for a few years now. I've seen these on their Asian machines, as you can see. Comparable sort of strength to the uh, black interaction solenoid, I would, I would imagine. They're kind of similar to the Lotelli claws as well. I don't know if they're manufactured by the uh, same company. 
but yeah, you can see it's a, an example of the strength, but I'd say these are a bit less precise, they, they can overpay, I think, so that's something to be aware if you were buying these as a as someone who buys machines, is that they're not going to be quite as easy to set up as an equal. But yeah, ship and win. That's nice, so you've got like chips that come down now, so it dispenses them onto the play field. Does it filter them out or do you actually just win them? Oh no, never mind. It does give you both. I thought that was a filter mechanism there. It's actually, so you win the chip and you put it in there, insert colour token for loads of tickets. That's nice. Oh, yeah, I've never seen these in the arcades, I don't think, anyway, so. I like the look of this, I like the marquee on that. It's a power kind of machine. As far as price every time machines go, I, I, I can see why people buy power kind of stuff. It's, it's affordable and it's uh, it's good for price every time. It's certainly better than a lot of competitors, Neo funds, etc. And this one has a new system as well, actually. This one has the same sort of system as uh, the Magic Claws, the Shining Cube. Mini Brands Mania from Units. Uh, there's a few people distributing these actually here today, and uh, it's nice to see them. I, I, I prefer the uh, the other version. I think it's the same concept as the other version, which I can't remember the name of. Uh, Over the Edge, that's it. I think there's a few sort of variants of this machine. This one's got an IP attached to it, so yeah, that's what that's about. Here's Over the Edge that I was talking about then. As you can see, it's more boxes. But well, that's cool what they do with the tickets there, so to, to demonstrate where the ticket outlet is, they've stuck that in there, that's cool. And yeah, so it dispenses the boxes and then you've got kind of a video game in the back. And uh, the idea is to get loads of marbles and push the boxes over. I think they're designed for these types of pop figures. I think you can put full-size pop figures in as well. Uh, but they've got some examples of sort of more leisure style things. In fact, that one's a claw machine there, if you can see. <laughs> that's cool. We're seeing a lot of these in uh, arcades now. I think they're good because they're, they're more accessible for people, more people can play the machines. I think the only downside is that because a lot of people use a contact list, and there's, there's often a surcharge on there because it actually costs them a slight uh, card fee and if they don't want to pay that card fee and make a slight loss every time the change machine is used, they can set that that fee on there which it's normally about 20 pence but I don't know how that would how that would work in an arcade if people are going to be discouraged from using it if they see that I'm not too sure but most places they just kind of take the hit on the money and uh, lose the 20p themselves good to see that Levy still produced the uh, classic roll downs 2p roll downs ah here's a closed loop style one actually a uh, token roll down that's nice that's new from Harry Levy, actually. I've never seen a, a, a closed style roll down before. So we can actually put a credit on and demonstrate it here. I don't know how it works. Oh, I see, it drops it there. Ah, so it's not a roll down, it's more of a a drop and then it hits the uh, hits the conveyor. And it's the same concept for this one here. But it's uh, actual money, two peas. To be honest, that's definitely a better purchase, I would say. I would much sooner have that because two peas, they make the, the, the bed dirty, it's probably higher maintenance, but no, it's good that they provide both options of the same machine, so pretty nice. It actually has balls on this over the edge machine, I thought I'd uh, show how they come out. So you've got action, action, two sides where the ball can come out. Uh, for some reason the left side isn't working, I think it needs balls to go up into the trap. Okay, press and hold it and you can kind of rapid fire. It's quite slow though, I think it has to reload. Yeah, it seems pretty slow. I think our piece is working better. Oh, and that's it, how it drops the box there. And it actually opens that to make sure that it's going in, to make sure it's not getting stuck. I'm guessing that's just, uh, to stop accidental falling surprises if someone shakes the machine. Which, to be honest, I don't know how you'd shake a machine of that size, but it's always good to have security uh, measures on it, because people are nutters. As you can 
see instance automatics have this huge back wall. A few goes on the grabber here. Never seen a single player one. These toy and candy shops are actually really nice. I think they run the Priestess system and uh, the control panel is really low down so it's more suitable for young children and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, from what I've heard from people that have operated these and owned and sold these, I think they're actually pretty nice. Um, they got a, yeah, they've got an instant scan tree but it's got a sort of OMV system. Um, but yeah, they're quite nice. In fact, you could even, even have a cheeky demonstration. These play the um, the music from the ad. They never used to. That's a new thing that they've changed on. And yeah, obviously the claws max power fries every time. So very nice. This is toy box thing. I think this is brand new that they've started distributing. Unis seem to uh, sell these as well. Oh, it's just on free play. So yeah, standard mini crane. Yeah, plastic gantry, but there's a nice little display box up there actually. These are, I can see these doing quite well. So you've got kind of your uh, affordable option here and then you've got your premium option with the, the grabber, which is proper OMV machine. Although one thing I will say, I think it's missing its top plate. <laughs> Must have fell off. Yeah, I think this is the older version. I don't know if they make them with these uh, control panels on anymore. I've seen ones with a bigger, bulkier control panel on them. I'm not sure if that's the future of these machines or not. This is another thing that's like brand new. It's this timeout game. I've never seen one of these. It looks like it's kind of like a time buster. I don't know if it drops the prize or if it just opens the door and lets you take the prize. I'm not sure. Um, seems to have some smaller display cabinets next to it as well. Maybe you can like win a small prize as well, I don't know. It looks like you can, because those look like proper actuators for the door. Interesting. Over the edge and Mini Brands Mania here at Instance as well. They're a proper Unis distributor, so uh, I think they're their biggest distributor actually, so makes sense. They're the only ones distributing this as well. Oh, I didn't know this was a sweet pusher. Freshers is about to go. Hey, there you go. You gotta win. Eggs in this side. That rigged. So yeah, it's like a mini version of uh, Fantastic Prize, but two player. So technically it takes up a bigger footprint, but offers double the function, I guess. You probably fit the same size prizes in it as well, if you were uh, smart about it. Redemption spinner game there. I've seen a few of these actually. There's a couple of these at Babylon Park. There was uh, these boxes that actually give out prizes. Pretty interesting. I've seen a few uh, distributors with these as well, I think. Didn't catch his name, but we were speaking to one of the uh, representatives, for instance, and he's just said that these, and I'm only just noticing it now, these are actually direct drive. There's no gear between the motor and the gantry wheel. Well, it, it's a geared motor, but the motor, the gears inside the motor are going to be way more hard-wearing than a nylon gear. So yeah, new gantry design from Instance Automatics, way more reliable. Oh, 
I want to see these. Ah, credits. Is that a credit button? I think so. So things that move, yeah. It's like a bigger value. Ah, oh, close. Ah. Oh. That is very cool. This is Emoji Frenzy, by the way. I didn't even introduce the game. I in instantly saw it and had to start playing it. Yes, I got that one. Quite timeable then. And obviously it's got this like animated uh, thing on top as well. I love that. We're playing this Treasure Cove game and it actually adds weight to the handle when you get a fish. It's like haptics. That's pretty advanced. I didn't get anything there. But yeah, it like makes that harder to turn when you actually get a fish. See, if you get a big one, I think it gets even harder. I got a treasure chest or something. <laughs> this is this is difficult to film. <laughs> Wait, look, we're. Uh, I got a treasure chest from underneath that thing. <laughs> yes, anchor. What does that mean? Oh, Jesus. It does get quite a lot harder, actually. Hook accelerate. Oh my god. <laughs> I like this. Oh, I got the anchor thing again. <laughs> that is very cool. Maybe I shouldn't have said it, that's a hard boat. <laughs> For it. Oh, you were close to get in. No, uh, I got a Tyson ball. Fury glove. No, you have to get the exact number. You have to be really like accurate with it. I want to green screen this video of you punching stuff and edit it, edit it in various nefarious ways. <laughs> You're getting higher than any of the actual. You have to do it like in between what you did there and 7.44. <laughs> See, that's it, because you, yeah. So it's not about hitting it as hard as you can, it's about getting an exact. You were close to getting the top prize, actually. Nope, no, it's nowhere near. <laughs> Figure out a time.
more interested on that actually because it's like an exposed solenoid. I think this is their new kind of hot selling machine. JNC sells quite a vast range of stuff. Oh, what's this? It's like a different game. I don't know what you have to do, but... I think it's just a vendor, is it, to put a token in? Ah, yeah, so you get a... Maybe you get a key or something, I don't know. I wonder how these claws act with the keys, actually. Interesting. Babylon Park mascot. No way. Thank you. <laughs> it's a bloody game card. That would go back. <laughs> actually, actually distributing high quality mini cranes for the first time in forever. These are awesome. Park Eye gantries. I don't know if the system's Park Eye, but at least they use Park Eye gantries. I don't know if the whole machine's Park Eye. I like these. Price isn't too bad, I guess. Yeah, I might not try that one. It's always like being there, standing in the seat. What about, uh, what about if we do this, Alfie, though? Look at that, for a teaser. Here's another one of these combination games. I've seen two versions of this now. One where there's a claw on the bottom, the whole bottom's a claw and the whole top is that game. And now this one has an even smaller version of the wheel game combined with a claw on the on the same level. Interesting. Yeah, the prices are pretty standard for all the uh, sort of Chinese crane gear that they've got. I think these are quite cool. I've seen one of these on one of the Blackpool piers, I believe. Seems to remember, at least now we know where they bought it from. Pretty expensive, actually, but it takes up a good footprint. So if you're looking for space fillers, this is the kind of thing that you would want to get. It's going to take good money as well, so pretty interesting. They've got a couple of like big machines here, Crazy Toy Galaxy. These are nice. These are nicer than the old Crazy Toys anyway, which uh, JNC have sold for a while now, actually. And again, it's that attention to detail when they're branding the machines that I really appreciate and I think goes quite a long way when selling as well. See the stuff like that where they stuff their name on the gantry. They've got a good logo now as well. They used to have a pretty horrible logo, but these days, much better. Poken drop, interesting. Oh wow, that's quick. That is very quick. It's got some good power behind it. I can't say I've ever seen a Vogos pusher before. 
interesting. Oh! Alfie! A modern flipper pusher. Oh yeah. I never thought I'd see the day where there would be a modern flipper pusher. It's quite unique as well. Oh, so that's the timing. Wow, it's hard. I like this. I wish it came out at the same power every time though. I think it could be more precise. Okay, got a for you. Load of tokens just come down there. They're actually giving out like mini tickets as well. One at a time apparently. Electrocoin are actually selling some really interesting stuff. I like all of this. I like this push that I was just playing. I think there's a, a marble variant here as well, or a ball variant. Oh, I see, the ball's come down the side. Oh, I like that, how you can see the ball come down too. Probably timeable as well. I think you want to get it in the middle. Oh, you can really rapid fire with this. Oh, there's a bonus wheel as well. And then a bonus board, which I'm guessing you need to yeah, stack up your jackpot. Which I'm guessing is what the wheel achieves eventually. And then you've got different areas for the balls to fall in. That's quite interesting. Alfie's found uh, some sort of time in redemption game. Balls. Oh, no, I'm terrible at this. So you have to, you have to you get, get the right colour. Right yeah. yeah. No, obviously that to looks do. extremely hard. It is. All that for a capsule as well, wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the best at this. There's probably an easy mode you can put it on though. You can probably make the thing go slower. Even so, like, it's with all of the different models you can, like, steer it. I like it, it's like steering around things, like... Yeah, it's the same sort of mechanism, isn't it? That just says one euro play on there as well, interesting. So electric point and distributed. So they, they look a little bit like the, the Shining Cranes, but I think they're a different, different manufacturer. are rigging on it actually. This reminds me of Crazy Typhoon actually just because of the spinny motion of the ball. Oh, you can throw them up pretty quick as well. It's like a mini skill cut. Obviously, Electric Point have been doing the skill cuts for ages now. But here's a smaller version, interesting. Same sort of idea though. Oh, it was just Namco stand, is it? I didn't even know where the hell we were. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, it is a Bandai Namco machine, so... Well, I love everything that has the Pac-Man brand on it, haven't you, to be fair? 
I liken it to the uh, Dino Pop. Do you think it's Do you think it's easier or harder to cheat on than Dino Pop? <laughs> Some might even say that Dino Pop is too easy to win from. That's a cool game. I like that they called it Power Pellets as well. We need more SpongeBob themed arcade games. continue for reliability purposes or what? It's actually Namco distributing these really big crane company cranes. And they've actually got the bigger version of Finder Key, Finder Key Deluxe. Oh, it's done really? Yeah, so it's all set payout. Same music. Exactly, it's just the same but being done. Bigger gantry, bigger cabinet. Although I've got to say I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the cabinet. Let's go. Uh, well then again it might just be because it's on the uneven floor, but you can see the whole thing shaking. So that's the fun zone too. I think they're nicer than the old fun zones, but kind of the same concept. Smooth rigging. A red prize cube, that's interesting. I think that's a prize every time, is it? Maybe, I don't know. Nice. Oh, look, it's got a little uh, animation when you're in. I didn't know that. Got some fail early stuff. It looks like Marco are fully customized these machines. Look, there's a proper LED marquee there with their name on it. Oh, look, interesting. Yeah, it's got the. The meters are open. Push it up and turn. I try to close it, are you? Teaser. This 
is the big one. This is similar to stuff we've seen today. Of course, you are obsessed with these, aren't you? It's like a different version, though. It's yeah, weird. This is Towers has one of these. They are very nice. I like the uh, cabinet design. That's what Coral Island has in bed, isn't it? Looks like UDC are now distributing a new version of Pope and Drop. Concept's the same. If anything, it's a bit lower down, I think. Oh, no way. I've never done that before. <laughs> I wonder if this version is just easier. I think it depends on the weight of the prize a lot of the time though. Yeah, right. this version's actually possible, no way. I think I just think HP make it possible to be honest, that's my opinion on that matter. Oh it's uh yeah, okay. You want? The new version of Toy Stack here, Toy Tower, um, is you actually choose the level so I can try the top. So that's cool. And then you can try, you can select your row so you can put the bottom as well with the same control panel so it saves the issue that toy toy stack has which is like kids can't really play the top row because it's quite high in fact i'll demonstrate it here the kids gonna find it harder to reach that they're probably more likely to play the bottom one but yeah football champ just put some credits on I don't know what you actually have to do. When the number reaches the target, and you get the gift of your choose. <laughs> I like the English on there. And there's 104 plays on it, apparently. Oh, so you have to get every row yeah. only once. 
Uh, so you see, that means I've lost, doesn't it? Or does it? Yeah, game over. So you have to be extremely lucky. So you have to get one. Only one. Let's see, can we do it? I wonder if there's a way to actually time it. See, it's not letting me have a go now. There we go. See, look, I lose. This is quite fun, actually. I like it. And obviously, it's got this here, so you can kind of choose your position of it. Difficult. I like that Takway. Oh, it's Taiwanese, Taiwanese as well, so decent. Get on this big E set really well. I want to try and get it on camera. It's definitely interesting playing such a big machine with a. Those prices are pretty well.